Hey guys, uh, this is a Porsche Panamera 2010 and we're going to show you how to remove the door panel in order to put felt so that it doesn't scratch the tip and we're going to go through the process of doing the rear door and the front door. They're pretty much the same thing but a minor variation, okay? So I'm going to show you where the screws are and how to, how to remove this, uh, this door panel, right? So let's, uh, let's get to it. On the rear door, you have to remember that there is a, a hook that it goes that way. And also you need to remember that this little molded over here that comes from here on, it's, it's, it stands on itself and it bends very, very easy. So you gotta be very careful. We can remove it from here. If you feel more comfortable removing this cap, it's very easy actually to remove this cap over here. just to give you more space to work. But there's really just one little screw hidden behind this cap, okay? So when you remove this cap, this little screw over here needs to come so that when you remove this molded over here, you don't bend the chrome, okay? And this is a T15. It's the only T15 on this door panel. Everything else is T30. So now that I removed that, I can I can take this molding from here. There is a, a clip that holds over here in place. But remember not to yank it in your direction because you're gonna bend it. Most likely you're gonna bend it. So I'm gonna go with my plastic tool here just to help this molding to come out. You can see that the whole molding comes right off. And over here on the edge, this is what, what bites going that way. So you can't just yank it in this direction because you are probably gonna break that. And that hides the teeth totally right there. And then behind this little cap over here, that comes off fairly easy. It's uh, this plastic cap, fairly easy, but you can see that this is also pointing in that direction. That means it goes this way. If you come out straight with it, you're gonna break that little thing. And it's gonna be hard to put it back in place after. There is another T30 right there. And after you remove that T30, it's pretty simple, you just go up and this thing gets off. Now, be very careful with these cables because there is a little plastic clip that holds the lock and unlock mechanism that if you break it, you're not gonna be able to lock this door anymore. And now you will see the reason why we have to put felt on this so that it doesn't ruin the tint. This is a plastic uh, uh, bottom sweep and it gets very dirty over time. And you can see that it's very, it's a hard plastic. And you can see how much sand it's accumulated over there. If you don't felt this thing before you tint it, uh, immediately, first time, first time the customer uses this car, it's going to scratch the tint. Now, I like to take, pick this thing up and put it on the other side of the door, but this corner over here, it's very tight because of the glass. You see the glass is pushing against it. If I push hard to bring it up, I will probably break that edge so I don't do it. This is enough room for me to clean and put the felt. This side over here, I leave it hanging over there. So let's take a look at the, at the front door. But before I do that, I think I prefer to hang this door panel with a hanging hook so that there is no pressure being placed on that locking mechanism. So I'm just gonna not close completely, but I'm, I wanna give you room to watch how the process happens over here on this front door. And it's pretty much the same thing, um, but there's only T30s over here, no 15s. This cap 
usually I take that cap first, right off. Very simple, because that cap, with that cap off is gonna give me the ability to hold this whole piece of molding over here, and I'll do this. You see how it comes right up? Okay, all I wanna do is unlock this, and it comes off fairly easy, but again, over here, there is a hook that it's holding this in this direction, so you have to slide that way, don't push it that way. But on the door side, you have this, uh, I think it's for the seat, you can just unplug and then you plug it back. And behind this little cap over here also, there is a T30. It's off. And now we're gonna take uh, that T30. This T30. Nothing there. Now, inside of this little light over here, there is also a T30. And over here on this side, actually on this side, it's easier to, to, to take it off. You can see that there is a little slot over there. You can use something like this to go inside and the whole thing comes right off. And it hides a T30 right there. Now I have to go down in order to get to see that thing. Okay, can, can the camera see over there? There's a T40 right there. I guess the camera can see better than I actually. Okay. Okay, it's off. Once that's off, what I usually do, I just try to loosen up this edge where it's tighter. And then all you have to do is uh, one move up. Hang on one. Oh, you know what? There's one more screw. Thanks for reminding me. Inside of this pocket, there is another T30. That's right. Right there. And now it's easy. But this side it's always tighter. And that's why I have to loosen it up a little bit. Okay, it's off. And now I'm I'm lightly gonna let it hang because I need the space to work on this thing. Just don't drop it. This little piece of plastics, if you leave it here probably during your work you're gonna lose some of them, so I just take it off and I put it back later on. It's just to hold the door panel when, when it drops so that it doesn't vibrate. That's what the, those little things are for. And now let's uh, just fish the bottom sweep out of there. And of course there is a double side tape at the bottom of the sweep holding it to the door panel, to the metal part of the door panel. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to separate the door panel from that tape. But except for that double side tape, this sweep really hangs on the sides. You see how after I separate it becomes much easier to pick it up. Now it's only hanging on the sides. This is all one piece. So it's hanging. If you want to show over here how dirty this thing is. So no tint will survive this kind of, uh, of abuse. Now over here, I want to try to lift as much as I can. And again, over here it's very tight. If I try to lift over here, I am going to break this, so I won't. I just make sure I have enough space to, to clean. And I guess on the other side, I did hang this thing on the side. And I've done a bunch of them, and I always hang this thing on the side over here, on the front door, not on the rear door, and it's okay. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean with alcohol, and I'm going to put the, the, the felt over here, all right? Actually, since we are doing this, let me go get the felt quickly, and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do.
This is the felt you buy. It comes in a kit. It has already glue on it. And all I'm gonna do is clean with alcohol. And since I don't have any other kind of alcohol, hand sanitizer will do the job. All I wanna do is uh, I wanna make sure all of that dust is gone and I wanna make sure there's no grease there so that the felt would stick to it. Now I'm just letting that dry a little bit so I can put the felt. I'll measure how much I need. This is it, and I'm gonna repeat this process on all the other three doors, and I'll drop it back in place. I'm gonna show you this one. I'm gonna drop it back in place so I can do my tint, and so I can apply my tint, and my tint will not be scratched when this glass goes up and down. Now, the process of putting this sweep back, it's just as simple as you see over here. I'm gonna drop it back in place. Of course, I already released the tape that was holding over there. Now that tape is not holding anything else, but the sweep is hanging on both ends. So both ends. So it's back in place. Now I can do my top load and we'll be done. All right, I hope that'll help somebody. Bye-bye.